Welcome to the Electricity of Life, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. As bees drink sugary nectar and collect pollen for its nutrients and fat, these interactions between pollinator and plant include evolutionary adaptations to electrical science. A high school student from the future would surely mention at least two electrical interactions when describing how bees interact with flowers. As a bee flies, it sheds electrons, accumulating a positive charge or electron receiving state. A voltage gradient in the air of about 100 volts for every meter up causes the petals of many flowers to accumulate a negative charge in relation to the air around them. In a manner familiar to any human who has felt static electricity on their hair, the tiny hairs on a bee's body bend slightly towards the flower. These body hairs on bees are connected to neurons especially sensitive to this interaction. When bees land, this static effect from their hairs also attracts pollen like a Swiffer pad. The bee will comb her body to store this pollen more securely on regions of the back legs called the corbicula or pollen basket. The flower will still have a lower charge of electrons after this visit. For about 100 seconds, for example, this decreased charge may serve as another indicator that bees use to determine which flowers have just been visited. On a different note, these tiny creatures see our shared world painted with a slightly different range of colors than we do. The vibration we perceive as red is simply too slow and wide of a waveform for their eyes to perceive. Meanwhile, they can see much faster and tighter wavelengths of vibration than most humans, which we call ultraviolet. Consider this when you see flowers that appear to our eyes to look rather simple. They may have additional features that our eyes simply do not see. Some flowers are more predominantly red because evolutionary relationships have led them to become more adapted to attracting hummingbirds or butterflies, for instance. Bees are likely just one of many insects which use electrically sensitive hairs for different purposes. We simply may not allocate money and time towards the scientific study of such things. Thanks for watching, and next time you see bees in your garden or among wildflowers, Consider how these creatures see the world and how they feel the electricity of life.